Okay, so a couple of weeks ago, I was at the Whole Foods and I was just doing my groceries and I decided to put up a poll on my stories asking my Instagram community whether a certain vegetable or fruit is good or bad for singers. And the answers were very interesting. And I feel like as a community, we think differently, but we sort of think alike. And so we're gonna go over that right now. If you guys don't know me, my name is Nikki. I am a singing teacher, a vocal coach here in Los Angeles, California. My studio is in Temple City. There's my dog. And if you guys wanna take classes with me, go ahead and link, check out the links below. Okay, so we're gonna do this really quickly. Okay, so here is, I'll try to sum everything up or like be as fast as I can. So the first one up are apples. Are apples great for you? You guys said, 83% of you guys said yes. 17% said no, apples are great for you as cigars because they are very high in water content and also high in fiber. So they're great on the go before you perform. They'll keep you full for a couple of hours. I wouldn't recommend it if you guys are pretty sensitive to fiber as they'll make you bloated or they'll cause water retention. So stay away from it if you're sensitive. All right. Next one are pineapples. Are pineapples good? 51% said yes, 49% no. The answer is yes. This is a singer's fruit due to the enzyme called bromelain. All right, now bromelain is a, an enzyme that can cut through uh, mucus and phlegm and is I like to cut the pineapples and then get the stem because that's the one that you can't eat and I like to blend it, um, add water and blend it and drink it like juice. All right, next one up, let's see, are bananas. 70% of you guys said yes, 30% said no. Bananas are great for on the go just like apples because they are pretty much like 75% water as well. So that's not bad for, for uh, bananas. And also they are uh, very high in potassium. They'll keep your energy levels high. They aid with digestion. It's my favorite fruit. I love bananas, however, I wouldn't recommend you guys to drink it maybe an hour, two or three hours before you perform. And that's because they are very much pretty, they're pretty thick fruits. And so that can be, you could, you're going to feel a little bit of discomfort in the stomach, a little bit of discomfort in the throat. So because of that, I would say no to bananas three hours before you sing. I would say yes, like in the morning, I, before, you know, hours and like maybe six hours before you perform, why not? Um, I have a banana regardless because I just like it. And next, uh, we are talking about cucumbers. Cucumbers are great. They're basically water. They're crunchy water. They're 90% water. Go for it, go crazy on cucumbers. My one thing, they don't really satisfy you unless you eat like five cucumbers. And so just be wary of that. Maybe have something with it, pair it with something that's not going to be overkill on the throat and the stomach. All right, next is asparagus. So asparagus, 63% of you guys said yes, and then the rest of you guys said no. Asparagus also have a high water content, and it's a natural diuretic, and so it's good for everyone. For singers though, if you like the other vegetables, if you eat it raw, it's harder for you to digest. And so that's gonna bring discomfort on your stomach. And we need our stomachs to control our breath works. We need that core to be to be all right, <laughs> to be 100%. And so I say, uh, I wouldn't take asparagus or eat asparagus raw, uh, or I wouldn't overcook it, maybe just steam it and get the right crunch and texture to avoid any digestion problems. And that, asparagus are great. All right, next one up are lemons. So lemons are pretty tricky. So lemons are great because they really fight uh, your mucus and phlegm. They really cut through it because they're so acidic. Uh, and so lemons, you guys actually had great response. You guys said 59% of you guys thought that it's good for you and then 41% said no. So what? Here's what I, here's my take on lemons because they are very high acidic and they really help with your sinus and your phlegm and your mucus. 
on a good day like on a if you're 100 percent, i would stay away from lemons because they're very drying it is a citrus fruit and so it's very drying so i would stay away from it you don't really need it if you're not if you're 100 percent well so you just need to drink you just need to hydrate yourself with water and honey cut the lemon out okay now for oranges are the same so i'm gonna put two together so oranges you guys said 58 percent said yes and then 42% said no. So oranges are pretty tricky because in general, you want to eat oranges um, because of vitamin C. They're very high in vitamin C. They'll keep you happy. They'll keep you full for one thing. Um, however, because they're also very high in the pH level, they're about like six to seven as well. Um, and so are pretty low. So they're pretty acidic. So you want to stay away from oranges if you are 100% well. They really help though if you're just like lemons, if you're feeling a little low in energy because of the sugar content and also you're feeling a little blockage in the nose, a little bit of um, thickness in the vocal cords, they'll help. Oranges will help you with that. Uh, but if you're feeling 100%, I say stay away from it. Also, stay away from orange juice um, if you are a singer, primarily because it has so much sugar in it and sugar tends to make our saliva thicker and so that's like a natural stress response and then when the saliva is thicker it's harder for you to phonate and so i would say stay away from it also because it's high in citrus and sugar if you're sensitive to sugar then you're gonna be all jittery on stage i just i say just no um and if you want to hydrate either cucumber pineapple or water because those ones are very gentle um on your body all right, next one up are cheeses and dairy. Oh, I love cheese and I love dairy. I, but I have to say 50% said yes on yogurt and 50% said no. And then for cheeses, they said 35% yes and the rest no, which is ding, 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 ding. And then the yogurt is kind of like, ah, oh, there's like a gray area there, right? And let me explain why. So. With cheese and dairy and animal milk, it's not that, you know, they say that like the mucus, it creates mucus, dairy creates mucus, milk creates mucus and phlegm. Uh, that's entirely not the case. The case is that it thickens the mucus and the phlegm that is already in there to, to begin with. So if you and digest milk and you have cheese, then that encourages or that sort of thickens the mucus and the phlegm. It's not the milk itself or the hormones or anything, it's the fat content. And so if you are planning on like, let's say having something dairy in the morning before dairy or cheese or what have you in the morning before you your performance, I say stick to something low fat. Um, low fat tends to be less creamy too it tends to be thinner like skim milk that's nice um or almond milk is fine because it's pretty thin depending on the brand um i like gosh not the khalifa one because that's really thick the best way to go about it is really making it homemade because then that's where you really see how thin it is and then sometimes they just put like added what have you on there so Next one up, and I feel like this is like appropriate to talk about, is oat milk. So is oat milk good for singers? 66% um, of you said yes, and 34% said no. Uh, they're generally great for you. They keep you full, and they are a healthier option than other dairies out there. They're very low in fat and high in fiber. Um, so generally speaking they're great for you i don't see why not why you shouldn't take it uh the only thing though is that they're pretty thick just like other milks are and they're thicker than most milk actually so they're very thick and they're very slimy um i know commercial oat milks don't have that property the slimy property but if you make them homemade which i really hope you guys are doing then there's that factor of just being slimy and if you eat like actual oat oatmeal then it kind of gives the same like after product of uh, it kind of it's no, there's no phlegm or anything but there's just like that bit of discomfort on the throat i would say um maybe don't take oat milk don't have your drinks with oat milk or any dairy or any like plant milk before for your sessions or before especially before your performance um the other thing though i don't oat milk is like my least favorite 
It is my least favorite non-dairy milk. It's just, there's just no life in it. Like it, it's so thick and dull and it's like, and I don't like oatmeal to begin with. And so there's a problem. So I still have mine in almond milk with everything with almond milk because I still live in like 2014. But I understand that the trend right now, the buzz right now is oat milk. So um, you guys can have your oat milk. I'll stick to my almond milk mix. Oh, that was pretty chunky. Hey guys, we made it through the list. If you guys found this video helpful and you guys want more of these, comment down below. And also don't forget to subscribe because I put out videos on singing tips, my life in general, and just anything under singing and anything under food. So, till then guys, keep singing, keep eating. <laughs>